I have no idea how that happens. Pin had actually broke in half and both of the ears had bent out. The ears themselves weren't salvageable. They were really damaged. They were spread apart, pins were broken. So we had the customer bring in their bucket. Some people are rough with their gear. Maybe they had somebody new on the machine, or maybe it's just been in service for a long time. Replacing the ears is a lot cheaper. We have to cut them off, clean up the bridge, nice and smooth, and they'll cut out the welds. You want to be careful not to cut into the structure, so it needs a, um, a careful touch. Just simply take a piece of cardboard and we sketch to make sure that we had the profile of what their bridge is because we did not make this bucket. So simple enough, we took this and then traced this out on a piece of paper to scan in to the computer. So I can show you the scan portion. When you have all the right tools, it makes everything a lot easier. So what I did is like I said, I traced it out on a piece of paper. And what we do on the piece of paper is I draw in an actual rule just to get the proper sizing. So when I put it into my program, I know what an inch is and all that. And from there, essentially I took a piece and I cut it out on a piece of paper and came out to verify on the bucket that it works. Once I know I have this profile, I can just make the ears accordingly so we know that they will fit onto their bucket. So from there, you can see that in the line, I imported this picture into SolidWorks into the sketch. Okay. And then from that sketch, I drew uh, just the preliminary part to make sure I had it right. And once I have that sketch in, then I can draw the profile of the ear with the proper pin separation and pin centers based off the customer's requirements. And then from there generates that ear that you saw in there. And then I can do that to make the assembly with the bosses and pins. We asked them what machine you had. And at that point too, we also asked them to verify the lugging because sometimes customers have um, done modifications and stuff to their machines, which will change. So after we have finished the drawing, we nest the features and then we are able to put them in and cut out the ears using our water jet. And from there, the welders can fit them on and then weld them on with very minimal uh, grinding needed as the profile has been matched. We went with a quarter inch thicker ear just from seeing the damage with a one inch ear, figured an extra quarter inch is probably gonna help there. And now Samuel's um, fit them on and laying down the beads. And then later today, it'll be welding in the bosses and uh, checking the pin fit. Looks to me like a ditching bucket. It's got the cutting edge, bolt on cutting edge. And based on the height of it, it wouldn't be a cleanup bucket. Cleanup buckets are typically, have a longer tip radius for this size of machine. But chances are they are using it for cleanup. make sure everything aligned tacked and once he knows it's good then he welds it yeah that's what he's doing now with the bosses because the bosses do have some play in them as you can kind of see around the edge that there is a little bit of an opening in there that gives him some ability to help with the alignment to make sure that the pins are perfectly parallel to each other and horizontal so he has that ability to move them tacks everything in and then once it's good then he proceeds to weld so nice saw it broken it was something else. Yeah. Like I said, the big pin was broken in half, but not a clue how the heck they did that. Never seen it happen before, surprised it happened there, but if they got it jammed on something and put all the force of the machine into it, maybe it's possible, but I
up some new mirrors, the welders weld them on after fitting, making sure the proper dimensions are done. Now I got it after the welding was done, I gave the quick wipe down, um, gave the quick clean, as you can see the bucket used to be blue. Uh, I don't think there's really a standard color it needs to be, but we're going to go ahead, we're just going to freshen it up, give the black paint job so this way everything looks new again.